What's up, homies? Apothecary Diaries, one of my favorite shows. Due to the expression of the characters, I am looking forward to seeing what other faces Mao Mao is going to have and how Junshi is going to toy with her. That being said, I feel like the plot is definitely going to be, uh, at least in this episode, it's definitely going to be focused more around that pipe, or at least I hope so. That's my expectation going into it. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. Wow. A servant girl helped solve it. I wonder who. Oh boy. She's making waves there. A beautiful intellectual. Wow. I guess now this guy has been made curious about it. The initial investigator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I was not disappointed by her reaction. Oh my god! It's not gonna have any poison though when it's served, right? A similar incident? Oh! It's that dude! A coma? Huh. Is it appropriate for me? Wow! Stay silent! <laughs> the story involves poison! Oh my god, she sure knows how to push her buttons there. Wait, what? They didn't use puffer fish, but it's a puffer fish dish? That's an interesting case right there, honestly. The puffer fish was served the night before. Oh, damn. So it has to be in the spice then. Or in the drink. <laughs> oh, her face does not disappoint. That's her best face yet. Oh. Oh my god, she just... She just decided to... Yeah, she definitely decided to war. Jesus. And I like how the old lady's like... <laughs> also helping her get away with it. We're back with the case. Detective Xiao Mao is on it. Hmm... Everything that was served. That seems like a very minimalistic recipe, but sure. Mm -hmm. It's like just saying vegetable doesn't help at all. <laughs> He's really bored. He does want to join in. Oh my god! Oh man, I want radishes now. Seaweed? Eh? Huh? That is so weird. That's a vegetable choice. Oh, she has an idea already. That glimmer in her eyes. Also, I think she's just excited at the possibility of getting poisoned again, but... <laughs> eh? Basen? You're my follower? Interesting. So attendee that has to keep their mouth shut. Hmm, he definitely does look familiar. 
I wonder if just because he looks a bit like Lakshu as well. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it actually has not been used at all since then. That's interesting. Oh boy. Wait, what the hell? Whoa. That reaction, though. He really doesn't seem very happy about people being here to help with the investigation. Maybe they think we're tampering. He watched everything except one thing. The seaweed. Maybe it is. Hmm. That was a weird interaction. Did she just yoink some? She did. So it's imported from somewhere. Interesting. That's gonna be rough. She's gonna eat it, isn't she? <laughs> oh. Oh? In water? He never ate it in winter, interesting. Oh, I see. I see where she's alluding to. Lime water? Oh my god, she's so excited to eat it! <laughs> it's probably fine! <laughs> oh my god! She had a tiny bite! I like that she's puking sparkles. Oh, this is fantastic. So it's a matter of who decided to salt it. This is really nice how she's just subtly hinting at stuff. And she wants to go and eat it. Oh, they're not looking. <laughs> I love this so much. Ah, it makes sense. It made sense with how angry he was. So he actually knew that it was poisonous. Huh. Happened to. Interesting. Is it the same person with the salt? <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, oh, she's in heaven with her poisons. I love this so much. Uh oh. Oh my god, she said it in such a cute way. Uh, that awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> he was so traumatized by her being nice to him. Oh, 
Well, not everyone can form fall for his charms. 40 plus high ranking military officer. Damn, not marrying in that era is like rough. Because you don't get some opportunities or people look down on you. Oh my god. Oh my god, she just blanked it out! She just zent the hell out and tried to block it. Hmm. So it is the monocle dude. Hmm. What does being at a concubine place have to do with romance, though? That looks like a veiled threat. Such a veiled threat. Yeah, where is he going with the story? It's... I can't really tell. Her skills! Oh, man. Is this a cautionary tale of what's happening? Ah, yes, there it is. Wanting to bring her down. Despicable man. Poisoned her, I take it. What a despicable character. Of course, he wants a crack at Momo, too. He wants to use Momo to solve the... Puzzle? I don't think he wants to use Mao Mao for that. I think he's trying to get to the prince by using Mao Mao. She's a servant girl! There's no way you'd ask for a servant girl to go and look at secrets that could get her killed. Why is Jinshi entertaining this individual? Because... How high ranked is he? She really did make a target of herself. Oh my god. This episode was honestly packed from the despicable uh, Lakan to the fact that the guy wanted to basically um, shatter another human being, treated them like toys and just wanted to break them to lower them, so to speak, humble them. It's like such a despicable attitude. And <sighs> it just makes it just makes my blood boil in a way. It, it's a good good design character, but goddamn. Goddamn does it make my blood boil when when people are like that. Mm. That being said, she was surprisingly useful in figuring out the whole fish dilemma with the seaweed. It was very weird to hear the fact that they used seaweed during the winter then, from another region as well. It was like... very... Hmm, unorthodox? The question that I have is, why did he leave the seaweed outside and then confess to it? That part to me seemed a bit weird, or rather a bit wrong. I don't quite understand why you would end up doing that. Because at least cover your tracks. Anyway, um, I, I guess like sometimes people are just not smart or just like the arc was not that important for the plot. Or he was just a pawn being used by the puppeteer, the one that first of all told him about the poisonous nature of seaweed and how to get it. Which seems to be the overarching plot ever since the first guy with the um, that died from, uh, from salt. 
So there is someone out there that's using um, medicine as a method to kill and cover things up. And if that's the case, Mao Mao is in trouble because she is the one solving those mysteries and she is the one that's noticing them as problems in the first place. Not to mention being so connected to two. Um, well, actually, three high-ranking, no, five high-ranking officials already. Like, she has quite a bit of different connections to people. So that's going to plaster a bigger target on her. Not to mention the entire rumor that spread because of her beauty and um, apparently cold intellect. I think Jinchi's jealousy of not wanting her to stand out and asking her to put on the freckles, honestly, is saving her quite a lot because it was the right call, despite being potentially for the wrong reasons. Hmm. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the current episode? Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like we're gonna be in for a wild ride with things being discovered like more shocking things being discovered in the near future and i am all for it also for those of you that stuck around till the end thank you so much i do appreciate all the support i appreciate your comments i love waking up and reading them and uh as a morning routine and uh for the background noise i'm sorry my cat's been kind of like doing wheel stuff behind me despite me blocking the wheel he unblocks it mid recording so yeah thank you for putting up with that <laughs> i so see you next time bye bye